Okay, welcome to my laboratory. I thought we were all done with this, but I guess that we really aren't. Uh, a commenter made what I consider to be a very valid point. Get it? Point. And that's that the uh, drywall screw that I was using originally, this thing, uh, the, uh, the fiber was not perfectly centered in the drywall screw and so that was causing some roughness in the spin so what I've done now is I've got a, a needle and uh, uh, a loop there and that equalizes the uh, the position so that the fiber is nicely centered dangling from the needle. To get it to stick with the weight of the magnets I had to add some more stronger magnets up there. But as you can see now that we're dangling well and there's no no tendency to spin. The magnet stack aligns with the local north-south, which is in this direction here, north away from the camera. And if I do give it a manual spin, I hope this shows up on the camera. I give it a little bit of a manual spin, you can see that the needle rotates freely. Is there enough there to get a focus on it? With the drywall screw it took it stored about two full rotations of twist before it actually um, released. But with this system it stores very very little twist, perhaps an eighth of a turn before the needle freeze and rotates. So the behavior of the magnet now is spinning very freely. Without much twist storage and a very very free pivot at the top. And as you can see it does not continue to spin counterclockwise and it realigns with the Earth's magnetic field north-south. If I give it a little bit of a spin, it turns nicely. So there's very, very little friction up there at that needle now. Alright, stand by for another test. All right, now I've got a, a fresh uh, bit of thread suspended from the needle in exactly the same way as before. This is pretty tricky because I don't want to take out any of the of the uh, twist that may be in the thread while I'm setting up the attachment. So I'm not going to put any uh, any tension on the thread while I'm attaching the magnet or uh, putting the needle in the right position. Okay. So now I've got the needle and the magnet set up and I'm releasing the magnet. And there's some clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation. The needle is not turning. Needle still hasn't turned. Oops, 
Sorry about that. Focus. Needle is still not turning. Rotation sped up and then it slowed down. The needle still has not turned. twisting back in the other direction. The needle still has not turned. <laughs> still no turning of the needle. back in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. I still haven't touched it since I released it. The needle still hasn't turned. Still no turning of the needle. And there's our approximate alignment with the magnetic field of the Earth again. So what we're seeing here is a result of the twist in the thread, ordinary torsion pendulum. The needle has remained in the same position this whole time. It has not not turned or twisted. Sorry about all the noise from the tripod. I can't figure out how to lubricate the thing. I have to every time I move it it makes a noise. That's probably why I got it at the thrift store. Now here what I've done is I've put a tiny little tape flag on the needle so it's easier to see how it rotates. Okay, and the magnet is uh, not rotating. So now what I'm going to do is just pull down on the thread so that it uh, separates slightly from the suspension magnet up there. Sorry about the light. And what I've found is that the amount of twist in the thread depends really sensitively on, on how hard you're pulling down on it. So if I pull down, you can see that it, the thread spins quite a bit. Now there's about a, oh, about a half an inch gap between the needle and the suspension magnet. And if I go down, it rotates one way. And if I go up, it rotates the other way. Down, up. And for any given position, there's a certain amount of twist in the thread. Down. And 
there it's in contact and I release the magnet and no spin so I'll do that again pulling down on the magnet adding weight in other words adds tension to the string and causes a rotation and then that rotation gets freed up when the needle separates from the top suspension and is pulled up with less force okay so the amount of twist that's stored in the thread depends very sensitively on the weight. I can even feel the, the thread stretching as I get closer and closer to the magnet and get more and more pull. Of course the maximum pull in this situation is when the needle is just barely not contacting the magnet. When it contacts the magnet then some of the pull force that I'm applying down at the bottom is released so the stored tension in the thread uh, goes the other way. No rotation. Okay. So it's very definitely the uh, twist in the thread that's causing the rotation in the first place and the equilibrium position depends just upon the weight or the, the force that's being pulled in the thread. I'm going up and down. Up increases the pull force, down decreases it. Down, up, down, up, contact. And equilibrium. All right. Thanks again for watching.